mostly through Manny's eyes that we take Babylon in and he makes for a superb audience surrogate. He and we are always equally overwhelmed by the sheer scale of debauchery and madness in front of us, whether that's in a palatial home being soaked in booze and bodily fluids or the filming of a massive battle scene that proves fatal to a couple of the extras involved. Even in the first party, a lot of which is covered in one of the most audaciously ambitious long takes I've seen in years, the technical bravado feels a bit alienating until Manny encounters Nelly and we, by extension, meet this Margot Robbie performance. Robbie is on bring the house down form for the entirety of Babylon, but never more so than in this early sequence, featuring a dance that is one part seductress, one part wild animal, fueled by a positively nuclear amount of energy that draws both us and Manny deep into this Hollywood world. Giselle gives himself plenty of time to chart Manny and Nelly's meteoric rises, but Babylon's much-discussed three-hour-plus runtime never feels too long, the Wolf of Wall Street-esque carnage melding with rich world-building for a deeply immersive experience that never once slows down. Giselle has always been a kinetic filmmaker for his most show-stopping moments, just see Whiplash's finale or La La Land's opening, but Babylon sees him step this up to a whole new level. The set pieces he's managed to marshal here are just absurd in their ambition and intricacy and though they are certainly inspired, at least in part, by a desire for Chazelle to simply show off what he can do, these moments also mostly serve his story, their grand scale allowing more intimate truths to be revealed about his characters. Whether it's Nelly's dance or a blackout drunk Conrad holding himself together to get just one perfect take, the love these characters have for this false but magical world of moviemaking is simply infectious. Of Subscribe this channel for more updates movie trailer cinema click notification bell thank you my friends.